Well, Trickster, there's never a break around here. Aslan's party finished up last night. Now we are in the attic, breaking out Christmas decorations. I think I got most of them. That's Halloween right there, other than that thing right there. But uh, yeah, let's check it out here. These are just the outdoor decorations. We've got four bins, Santa, reindeer, snowman, street light. Pretty sure that's everything we need for outdoor. All the extension cords and stuff are in the garage. So uh, let's get started. All right, so I've got all of the outdoor lights down from the attic. Then I just mowed the lawn so we can put our like big light bulbs that go in the grass in the grass now. I gotta turn the sprinkler down because I'm watering 10 times a day for one minute. We'll reduce that to about half. So now it's time to go get some lights and start throwing them up on the roof. That's that's the roof, in case you were wondering. All right, first we're gonna hang up these icicle lights. They look kind of like poop in the day, but they look pretty cool at night still. Uh, they're animated LED lights. We bought these probably eight or nine years ago, and it's probably time to replace them. As you can tell, some of them are taped together, but uh, they still look good at night, so we're gonna use them this year. I wanna go automated. I want Lightorama automated Christmas lights. I gotta say it every year and I still haven't jumped on that bandwagon, but it's coming. We're gonna do RGB LEDs and let's go nuts. But for now, all right, so here's two pro tips on putting up Christmas lights in your house. One mark center on your house. I know that spot right there between the upper and lower part is center. And then we leave our Christmas lights uh, taped together. I use electrical tape so water doesn't get in there and short out the circuit if it ever rains. Uh, but there's two strands here, so I know the center point is between the two strands, and I start in the middle and I work my way to the sides. Always make sure you put the plug end on the side that you want the plug end. In my case, it is on that side of the house. So a little couple tips there. Uh, on the upper part, we used to have three of those strands, but uh, one of them died for some reason. So now I only have two, so it's easy to find center, but I would mark the center of the center strand and then I would put it at my center point. There's actually hooks underneath the roof up there. Actually, this is, oh, whoa. Pro tip number three, don't step on the light. <laughs> you can see a little hook right there. Ah, that's where the, uh, the plug ends get tucked away so no one has to see the ugly cables. I also like to uh, bury all of my cables in the yard so you don't see wires everywhere. It's a little pet peeve of mine, so there you go. Now you know, I have issues with the Christmas lights. Another tip, plug in your lights before you start running them. That way you know they work for sure before you start putting them up on the roof. Plug them in and then find out they don't work and then you have to take them all down again. Uh, I know this from experience. 30 minutes later, we've got the lower lights on and uh, power's run. Now it's time to go up top and do the upper section. All right, Trickster, well, I've had the uh, upper lights on for a while and now we are putting the Santa and reindeer up and I just taped up the tri-tap so that uh, no water gets in there. Water's bad for electricity. So now I'm hiding my cables and the upper roof should be done. Boom! All right, so we got the house done, the upper part anyway, the rooftop display, if you will. Uh, all the Christmas lights on top and uh, the Santa and the reindeer, they're all installed and powered up and when I get home they should be looking fabulous tonight but right now I'm heading off to BLK live to run some lights for a concert over there and then uh, we're gonna have to do the trick of the day I was gonna do Aslan's highlights today but we got caught up with the Christmas lights and uh, yeah so I'm gonna have to do Aslan's birthday highlights tomorrow oh cliffhanger so let's go do some lights at BLK Live. We'll go home and do a magic trick and I'll show you what the Christmas lights look like so far. Uh, we haven't done the ground display yet, the bushes and all that jazz. We'll do that tomorrow. Uh, so let's get. Sing it, We are about to pull up to the house and the Christmas lights should be on. The uh, lighting gig is over. So uh, yeah, we're gonna have to go in and find a trick of the day.
because uh, this day did not go as I planned originally, which is not a big deal. But hey, let's go see the Christmas lights and do a trick. C9. Yes, these things are awesome. They're not energy efficient. They're very fragile, but these are still Christmas in my memory. Check it out. Not only that, but you can actually light them up using your mind. Watch. Thanks for watching the Fitz Magic Show. I will see you tomorrow with a brand new episode. And boom! Hey, and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you like videos just like this, please do us both a favor and click the subscribe button. Below that, you'll find the latest Fitzmagic show, and below that, you'll find a video recommended just for you. Thank you for watching, and click the subscribe button. Click the subscribe button. Click the subscribe button.